1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. I want to start off by saying Brak Tayahua, Brak Tayahua Shai, Brak Tayahua, Brak Tayahua Shai, Brak Tayahua, Brak Tayahua Shai, Brak Tayahua, Brak Tayahua Shai. Call Halau La Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai, which means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to also give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, Shalom. And um, this title, I don't have a title yet, but you know, it's a cut, you know, on unity camps. You know, if you uh, speak in a different doctrine, the scriptures say, can two walk together unless they agree, all right? Um, the Most High also said, he said he's not the author of confusion. You know, when someone is not speaking accord, when a, when a group is not accord, like a music, like if you got a music band, if they not on one accord, the music won't sound right. You know, you'll, you'll be scratching your ears. You know, you'll be yelling at them, shut up, you know, turn that off. Because if a music band is not one accord, the instruments playing out of, playing off course, you know, it's just bad, man. It's just bad. All right. So this is First Corinthians chapter one and ten. It says, "Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing." So we all supposed to speak the same thing, man. All right. We're not supposed to speak things that are different, which is the doctrine. Now the apostle elder, uh, elder apostle uh, Tahar, he did a, a lesson I just recently seen, and he went into doctrine. The Bible has one doctrine. You know, and by this doctrine that Yahweh Shai gave us, all right, this word of the Most High, the, the true men of the Lord, they're going to speak this word, this one doctrine. And if anyone that's not speaking according to that doctrine, they are the false prophets. All right. There's only one way, and that's walking through the straight gate. All right. Anything else is climbing up some other way. All right. You know, you got guys that are say that. The mark of the beast is, you know, is not the RFID microchip. Then you want, then you got a group that is say that they, 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 they know that it is. If you come together, there's a division between you two. You have to swear that away. You can't go out before, you can't go out with each other and before uh, uh, the world and, and come in the name of the Lord and all of you different groups are speaking of different doctrines. You know, what happens when? This group is speaking and saying contrary of what you was taught and talking and, and teaching um, people that's before you in the camp. You know, what are you to say? You know, you're not going to pull that brother to the side and say, yo, you know, that ain't right. You're going off. I, or you're just going to go, okay, well, we unity right now. You know, go along and get along. That's madness, man. All right. So it says, and that there be no division among you. All right. So. You know, let me just, let me see something real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, Division, quick Google search. The action of separating something into parts or the process of being separated. So that means you're not together. If you have division, that means you're not together. You're not speaking one accord. You're not of the sound mind. All right. So that's the vision. So let me get back to the scripture. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And let me say this too. Even starting with the name. You know, that's that's the indicator right off the rip. You know, you God come up, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. You know, of course we say Shalom. You know, because the Lord said, be peaceful with all men. And if there's a brother... Or a man that knows he's a, he's an Israelite, that's what's up. But for us to break bread, we would have to sit down and discuss some things, you know. I would ask him, you know, what name do you come in? You know, if he say another name other than the truth, then I know, okay, well, maybe let me, you know, try to correct him if I see his, read his spirit correctly. And if he's proud, you know, then let him be. 
Go on your way. We can't break bread. We won't be uh, friends, you know. You know, we won't be cool until Yahweh Shai come and fix things. You know, because Yahweh Shai is the true gatherer. He's the one that's going to unify the elect. Not all it. Well, let me say the Lord is going to unify all Israel because he laid his life down for all Israel. But in particular, the elect. And the ones that she's going to gather first is the elect. And they're going to speak one accord. It says that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, man. All right. So in the same mind and in the same judgment. So when the Lord placed his laws down, he gave us one mind. He gave us one judgment. Okay. You know, what is the penalty for this? What is the penalty for that? When you transgress this, when you transgress that, what is the penalty? You know, there's some laws that are uh, a judgment unto your death. And there's some laws that are not. You know? So, now, dealing with a law, okay, where the Lord clearly told us not to take the mark of the beast. You teaching that is not the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. What that means? That means that people can take the RFID chip. But then in the argument, you would say, well, the law even says not to prick, you know, your skin. Well, okay. Well, what about if your life is on the line? What if the Esau, when he got you at your balls, all right, your kahunas, and he got your family in one hand and got you in the left, in the other hand, and got a gun in your face and telling you either take this chip or I'll off you and your family. Because that's what it's really going to boil you down to. That's Jacob's trouble. The hours of temptation. You're going to take the chip. Because in your doctrine and your belief is that this is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is Christianity. The mark of the beast is an embargo. See, for the true ones that the Lord is actually dealing with, the elect, they're going to see right through the madness, man. They're going to see right through it. They're going to see who got the truth and they're going to see who doesn't have the truth. So it says... But be, but that ye be perfectly. Mm, let me look the word perfectly up. Perfectly. Quick Google search. In the manner or way that could not be better. In the manner, in a, in a manner or way that could not be better so perfectly man which the scriptures tell us we must strive to our perfection to seek our mastery you know we're striving to be perfect even though we're not so in the things that the Lord told us that we understand oh we can strive in that to make perfect to things that not to do and things that we should do all right, so it says, but that ye be perfectly joint together in the same mind, all right, lob, and in the same judgment, all right? And this is why you got these different camps going the fuck off, all right? Because that's the way the Lord set it up. You got the uh, false prophets, you got the uh, true prophets. You got guys doing rap videos, pushing out vibration for you to go to the gun range. Is that the right spirit to be in? And the Lord told us we're spiritual men? Hell no. That's going to lead you unto your death. If you're out there teaching, you're supposed to be the prophet, the teacher. You're not participating in that war when uh, Jacob's trouble come and the race war and things like that. We're not going to win this war by the way of Esau Manor, by guns and bombs and go out in the blaze. No, Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem us from this man. And who he gives with spiritual powers to fight with him, that's who he do. But it's going to be won by what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it's going to be done his way. Yeah, we know in the scriptures it tells us we're going to receive spiritual powers, but we have to wait. All right? So anyway, let's get to the next scripture. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and 4. It says, For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus, which we understand this word Jesus in the Bible is Yahweh Shai. So let me read that over and say Yahweh Shai. For if he that cometh prophesying another Yahweh Shai, whom we have not preached... Or if ye received another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. All right. So if anyone coming, you know, with something new other than what you was taught 
all right? In the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you supposed to know that they're coming of another Savior, man. You know, gathered together in unity, despite your differences of doctrine. That's madness. That's madness. And the Lord wouldn't be with, the Lord is not with that. It says, if he that, if he, for for if he that come preaching another Yahweh Shai, meaning another Savior, all right, besides the Yahweh Shai we know, whom we have not preached, or if ye received another spirit, which ye have re not received, or another gospel, okay, another gospel, what's that? That's these guys, you know, despite your differences of doctrine, we're unity, you know, unified, all right? We're the heads, you know? You got, you got, man, you got individuals, you got camps that are, that's went to the, the their, unif their, un their unity thing, summit thing, and they believe that the prophet shouldn't even be prophesizing. What type of shit is that? You got guys that's teaching the, the, the Old Testament and not the New Testament. They don't even believe in Yahweh Shai. So anybody's accepted as long as they believe that they're an Israelite? You know? That's madness, man. So it says, or if you receive another spirit, what's the other spirit? You know, if it's not the Rakat Kodash, uh, spirit holy, which is Holy Spirit, all right? Because uh, in, the, in the Hebrew, we read from what? Right to left. We don't leave, read from left to right. So it would be what? Rakat Kodash, spirit holy, all right? So whoever come in another type of spirit, and it's not of the... Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then it's of Satan. All right? It says, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might bear with him. All right? So that's to the point, man. All right, so let me get some of this right here. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, beware of false prophets. Right off the back, man. It says, beware of false prophets. This is why the Lord allows certain men. To, to do what they do You know Because they're that two third party man You know these guys Got pride man Some of these heads thereof In these different camps Got pride Or they either sold out To some organization Or Esau Alright Took in the Judas purse Took in the bag To teach you lies Starting with the name Starting with certain doctrines That Esau can make it You know Telling you that the mark of the beast Is not the RFID microchip You know Changing up the doctrine Perverting the gospel Hoping that you turn back You know these things are set up before you guys, man. And they're, and they're preying upon the fruit. The fruit, man. Esau wants to slow down this fire, man. He can't put it out. He only could just hopefully, in his mind, slow it down. Because he know the Lord is coming. This is why he prepared himself. All right? So it says, beware of false prophets. You got to be beware of these men. You got to understand. That's why the scriptures say, blessed if he that readeth, man. You got to read the scriptures. You know, and, and ultimately, the Lord have to be dealing with you in order for you to see. In order for you to have the spirit of discernment. Because that's the spirit, man. The spirit of discernment. It says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. Yeah, they come in garment attire, attire the gauntlets, grouped up, all same gar garments. They look good, doing rap videos and all of these things, you know, cadence together. Come here, Shala, come here, Shala, you know. They come in sheep's clothing. They come in that, that gay clothing, man. That, that ooh, yeah, them got to be the men of the Lord. They looking good, you know? It says, but inwardly, which is their mind, they are ravening wolves, man. All right? You know, because really, they have a, um, a, a, a inner self demon which wants to turn you away from the, the truth in somehow, some way. All right? Either they want money from you they want your woman, all right? Shit, they want women, okay? Um, what is it? They want fame, you know? They want they want uh money, you know. I said that already, you know. It says um, verse sixteen: "Ye shall know them by their fruits." That's how you know them by their fruits, cause you see what their fruits are doing, you know. You got guys going to the gun range, man. Go, uh, going to the gun range, and um. Putting out this vibration that we should all get guns and take up arms against Esau. That ain't the way of the scriptures. All right. That ain't the way of the scriptures. It says, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns and figs of thistles? Yeah. Because, you know, if, if you are righteous, you're going to, 
you know, if you're righteous, you're going to gather what? Those of like-minded. Those of your speed. But if you're evil, you're an evildoer, you're going to dwell and gather those of your speed. You know? So it says, do men gather grapes of thorns and figs of thistles? No, they gather the grapes of something they can eat. You know? That's why in this word, the Lord told Ezekiel to eat the roll. Because it's symbolically, you're eating the word. You got to eat this truth. You know? So it says, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that reminds me of Job. When Job said, um, um, uh, can something clean come out of something unclean? Roughly paraphrasing, it says not one. So nothing clean can come out of something unclean, man. And those that are the elect that's amongst the wicked men, they're going to come out of that, man. And they're going to get with the truth. They're going to get with Yahweh Shah, and they're going to teach the truth. There was plenty of brothers uh, recently this happening to, with our camp here in Jersey. You know, brothers coming across the camp, they want to jump out the car, say what's up. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even notice that it was these other small different groups that they all, you know, I was driving the other day and I was downtown Newark and I saw another group, two guys down there teaching. I, you know, I wanted to hop out and be investigate, see what that was about, but I was on the, I was on the move, you know? You know, and, and um, just, just thinking back on the camps, how the guys are coming up, you know, and showing love. But one guy told me, I forgot your name if you watch. Um, he had the gauntlets on. He said that he dropped out of some camp. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't see eye to eye. So that brother must know. You know, division. You know, if you have division, you, you know, you, you, you got you to gotta square it away. You got to square it out, man. You know? So you can't come together in false doctrines, man. And think that the Lord is with that. That ain't what the Lord is with. The Lord told us to teach the truth and wait for his gathering. And the gathering is waking up through the world. You can't see that... The, the, uh, this truth is being pushed in all four corners of the earth Damn near all four corners of the earth You got brothers all over the world uh, Teaching the truth man Or teaching that we're Israelites man Let me say that You know you got plenty of brothers in Great Millstone Teaching the truth The 100% truth Around the world man You know Alright so It says every tree that bringeth forth Bringeth uh, forth evil fruit Neither can a corrupt tree Bringeth forth good fruit Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So everything that's not of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is going to get cast down, man. It's going to get taken out eventually. It says, uh, cast, uh, cast into the fire, which is the, which is that uh, lake of fire, man. All right. Verse 20. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. Not every one that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven all right so like the lord said man many are called few are chosen and he said not everyone that say unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven so not everyone gonna make it man because you got guys that are set up you got guys that are teaching false doctrines man you know just because you're saying you know you out there um you know supposedly casting out devils but you're evil doers man you know so it says, not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful, wonderful works? All right, they teach the Israel, they go before these, um, and that's another thing, see? Because some of these guys, they like to go into the crowd they go find a parade and then you go set up at a parade where you don't never really be at and you want to just get you know curse these people you got a pride parade a homosexual pride parade and you want to go there set up shop and curse them out and so you can get all this attention and this conflict you know and, and this traffic you know so you can get those views you know they're not doing it for the truth to wake up the elect they're doing it for themselves for uh glory vain glory you know so it says um um, it says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? All right? Because it looks, it, looks, it looks amazing. It looks like, wow, the brother's out there, you know, catching hell for the truth. Meanwhile, he chased down that. You know, he chased that down. You know, them guys, them guys, the, the hop-out boys. You guys went over there to the, uh, to the uh, I don't know what it was, but... The thing with the guy with the Trump hat, you know, you went out there because they was out there and you wanted to, you know, curse them out instead of just going to your spot 
and teaching and waking up the elect. You know, and that's and it what and it made news. They, so you got your glory, you got your you got your constellation. There you go. So let me read it again. It says, therefore, who uh, many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have pro not pro we have not. Excuse me. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done money done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So that's what the Lord is going to say, man. The Lord is not with unity camps teaching, coming together, for teaching false doctrines. Teach the truth. And guess what? The truth is going to come together itself. Because Yahweh Shah is going to put it together when you teach the truth. You know? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever hear of these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon the rock. All right. And that's him that built his uh, house upon Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says, uh, therefore, whosoever hear of these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. All right. It says, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for there, for it was founded upon a rock. And that's right. So when Esau, or let's say when demon spiritual Satan goes to attack, that house still stands no matter what, man. All right? It fights through the, through the wind, all right, through the, through the fire, through the hell, all of that, man, through the water, through the fire. It withstands, man. Okay? It says, and every one that hear of these sayings of mine and do of them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand all right and that's a man that you know that climbed up some other way he didn't take up the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he tried to climb up some other way but when satan came his house got blown away and and the great ultimate test is coming when esau come in like a roaring lion sparing none you know when he come in forcing that rfid microchip upon you man you know what are you going to do these days let me keep reading, man. Now, it says, verse 27, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And I see that within these false prophets, man. All right? Because here it is. You're teaching a false doctrine. But that, like I said, and the great was the fall of it. So you're going to fall real hard because I notice whenever God's teaching lies, Esau knows because Esau knows the truth. He knows who's teaching the truth and he knows who's teaching lies too. He knows who's off. He can see that. All right. So these guys that's teaching lies, they get all the views. They get uh, pumped up. They get um, they get glory, vain glory from men. You know, I mean, plenty of guys came on my comment board and told me I don't get enough views to say anything. Like views matter. Like the truth doesn't come first. You know, but guess what? All that, that lion, it built you up. But then now here comes the great fall, man. A great fall, man. All right, so I'm going to read that again. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. All right, so some uh, last scripture. First Timothy chapter 4 and 1, it says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy Having their conscience snared with the hot iron So here you go You got men speaking doctrines of devils man Of lies man Doctrines of lies man You know So Let me do this one last thing Let me go into the blue letter And let me look up one mind Alright And I put blue letter up uh, One mind in the search bracket of the blue letter And um And you got 10 verses here so I'm going to read some that uh, applies. This is Job 23 and 13. It says, but he is in one mind. Because, you know, in order to be un to unified, you have to speak a court. You know, and that's speaking the truth in Yahweh Shai. So you got to be of one mind, man. So it says, Job 23 and 13, but he is in one mind and who can turn him? And what is his soul desireth, even that he doeth? You know, Paul, Paul may mention in um. What's that Romans 8 and 35? He said, uh, the love, the, the who can who can uh, turn our love away from the Lord? You know, not peril, not distress, not nakedness, nor principalities, 
All right, because he in that what one mind of the truth. The how about Shimi how shy? So it says, but he is in one mind, and who can turn him? And what is his soul desire if even that he doeth? All right, so let's get to another one real quick. This is Romans 12 and 16. It says, be of the same mind, be of the same mind, one toward another. So that's a cut, man. If you're not speaking the same doctrine, how can you unify together and teach Israel anything? Hey, that's Matthew 7 and 1. He said, uh, uh, Shai said, take the moat out of thy eye and then thou able to, to take the moat out of thy brother's eye. So y'all really a bunch of hypocrites. You know, y'all a bunch of hypocrites, man. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but cons but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conscience. All right, and that's pride, leaning upon your own understanding and not taking upon the scriptures first. All right. Um. Let's see here. Okay, Romans 15 and 6, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify the Most High. Oh my God. This is a cut. Romans 15 and 6, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify the Most High. And that, that's even in the, uh, the, the true name, because these guys, some of them camps, they teach a different name. Ahaya, Yeshaya, Jah, Yah, whatever, you know. All these different names instead of the true name, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says Romans 15 and 6 that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify the most high. How can you do that when you got guys teaching different doctrines? <laughs> Cut. Even the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. Because even Yahweh Shai spoke. All right. He spoke of the heavenly father. He spoke the true doctrine, man. All right. And he gave us what to teach, you know. He enlightened us even in the time of our, our uh, reincarnation because brothers are back that was actually with him and that carried the gospel back then. And now they're here now speaking the full truth because now we have 100% truth. We have the breakdowns. We have the prophecies. All right. We're at the end of this thing, man. Um, it says 2 Corinthians 13, 11, Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of a good comfort be of one mind see one mind live in peace and the most high of love and peace shall be with you all right um see yeah. first peter 3 and 8 finally be ye all of one mind having compassion one of another love as brethren be pitiful all right uh this is revelation 17 13 these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast right so that's the point man I'm 30 minutes in, you know, and I think the point has been made. And um, Lord's willing, I hope this lesson to be edifying. You know, you have to speak one accord, man. And I'm going to read the scripture again. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in, in the same mind and in the same judgment. You know, so with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.